What kind of shape do you anticipate the players showing up in? The reality behind it is, you know, I mean, all players are going to work, and that's a reality. The one thing that's different this year than any other year is that we had no football work. Training is training, lifting is lifting, and football is football. The reality behind what we have in front of us is we have to prepare the guys who have started their training process, and we need to continue to go ahead and push them into more football training to get prepared for the 2020 season. And it's all about football. Hey, you know what time it is. The city of champions. And he's going to get sacked. Let's go! Touchdown, Steelers! The standard is the standard. is football, but keeping everyone in the Steelers organization safe during training camp at Heinz Field is the top priority. It isn't just the COVID-19 protocols. It involves some of the basics that need to be done before anyone can hit the practice field. And it all starts with a trip to see the equipment staff. Wow. It's just very right here. Yeah. Is that the Steelers? Yes. Yeah, that's a football player. Is that 85? Yeah, they're tackles. Yeah, I get my helmet to play tackles. <laughs> you want to see my cool mask? What's that say? Steelers. Yeah, it says Steelers. Eric Ebron and the team's other new faces are getting used to wearing the black and gold. And some more familiar faces are showing up to make some minor equipment adjustments for 2020. like a glove. Be back, man. It's time to grind, it's time to work. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Let's get to it. After making sure everything fits just right, it's time to break out the uniforms for the annual media day shoot. Yeah. Give me a serious face, too. No? All right. <laughs> I can't. Oh. Showing out for the cameras is easy, but showing up to training camp in great shape, especially during a pandemic, is a whole different story. Luckily for Terrell Edmonds, he had two perfect workout partners to keep him motivated. His brothers Trey and Tremaine were also in the same boat. Being in the house for, what is it, four or five months, um, some people might have got lazy and not saying that a lot of people got lazy, but it's just being in the house every day and doing the same routine and having to push yourself to work out, even though you, the season's still up in the air because they were talking about the season so much. So there's a lot of unknowns out there and just you gotta be able to push yourself. And being with my brothers, I definitely think that's big because they're not gonna let me slack off and I'm not gonna let them slack off. So we're out there together and we know that, okay, if my younger brother can do it, I can do it. If my older brother can do it, I can do it. So we're out there pushing each other the whole time. Our guys are pros, pros. They just are. And they came back in tremendous 
condition, ready to go and ready to go ahead and actively dive in, 10 toes in to whatever we were gonna be able to do via the guidelines from the National Football League. It's definitely been nice. I think it's a nice setup. I think they have everything laid out perfectly. I mean, there's not too much more you can ask for. We're in a different location. We're in our training camp weight room setting, and it's in between the back end of our locker room and where we eat our meals, which is at the PNC Club, and it's in the concourse area through that walkway. We really, 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 in a short period of time, have enjoyed this setting. When you walk into lunch, you see guys working out. After practice, you see guys working out. So it's always, you get that energy because the music playing in the weight room, and you feel that energy as you're walking to get something to eat. And now it's like, all right, let's go get it. You know, what we've done, uh, Matt Darnell has done an unbelievable job of, of setting up the food and the PNC club and the people here at Heinz Field have really stepped to the plate and are delivering on a day-to-day -day basis from, from our nutritional needs. And it has been absolutely spectacular so that we can go ahead and eat great tasting food that are that, that really helps with the performance aspect of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. I got a shout out to the smoothie location because the smoothie is 24-7. Um, you can get it anytime. I probably drink three or four smoothies a day. Definitely the smoothie station is big too. I told you they're always on point, man. They always show up. <laughs> By fueling up with the right food in the calf and the hard work happening in the weight room, the team is gearing up for the on-field portion of camp, which is new to everyone. To help players gradually acclimate to the football environment, the NFL did not permit any padded practices in the first two weeks. Instead, the players have spent most of their time in walkthrough settings and in the weight room. We're kind of oozing into it with not on field football stuff being the main focus. After we complete that, we'll get into what's called phase two football, or that's where we can go ahead, put our helmets on and get into OTA like practices or non padded practices. When you complete that block and that structure, then you go ahead and you get to put the full pads on and get into that padded practices. Now within all those structures, there's a ramp up period as far as time. So when you take a peek at all the nuances, the key is to be well organized, work within the structure of the guidelines to prepare the football team for our upcoming game in September. Right there, line it up right down the goal line. In my normal role, I'm working in the, in the strength and conditioning area, but when practice hits, obviously there's not a whole lot of weights on the, on the field. Walk! Backwards, back with a backstroke. Butt kicks back. So my role on the field is basically helping with the flow and the consistency of movement at a rapid tempo on the field and during the practices. When you finally get them face to face, it was a little bit even greater than the first day of school, it just was. Oh. <laughs> hey, I, I like it, I like it. <laughs> no doubt. When we placed a football down and got an opportunity to go through a walkthrough style setting, uh, as crazy as it sounds, it was, it was a, a, a really, really, really cool moment in time because it has been quite some time since we've been able to do that. Communication is the main goal. I'm just talk, 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 because we're going into the season right away. Great communication is an utmost. Coach to player and player to coach communication really gets pushed to the forefront in this type of training camp setting. It's not like we're gonna have a preseason. We're gonna have a short camp. We gotta go in ready to play. While the Steelers defense developed into one of the league's best units in 2019, oh, continuing to improve communication will help them take that next step this season. Senior defensive assistant and secondary coach Terrell Austin is in his second year with the Steelers and his vocal leadership is part of the reason the defense continues to make strides. What do I got to do? Run. You got to run. You got Let's go. Okay. Right? You got it. That's right. You got to get it. Right? We know what we got to do. So we got to go get it. We want to be physical because sometimes here's what happens with the receivers. You get up on and you try to get physical. You might miss every now and then. Right? In this coverage, if you miss and they beat you, they think they're winning. 
but you're actually winning. That's why, like, one thing that'll, that'll get me going is guys, when they fall down or they get hit and they're on the ground and they lay on the ground. Get up off the ground. You know that play is not done. T.A., he's a smart guy. He's telling you exactly what you need to do. And if you follow his plan, if you follow what, he, what he's trying to tell you to do, um, it will all work out. He lets you be your own player, but at the same time, he, he puts it all out there for you to be successful. Come on back, run that again. Do, do that again, just do that again. Real quick, come on. Set, hike, go right now. Boom, Vinny, come off. Hey, right here, Devin. No, you're working out to the south side. Devin's working to the inside. Okay, stay with it, stay with it, boom. Good, there you go, Dev. Backpedal, open, come on. Hey, every time we catch it, we tuck it. If we drop it, it becomes a fumble. We pick it up, scoop and score. Back, open, come on. Drop your weight, drop your weight, Antoine. Don't get high, right? You have to run through the ball. You got to step through. Okay, back, come on. Good. So keep your eyes up and transfer your eyes over that way. Catch and tuck. On you. Good, right there, good. I'm hip, hip. Now I'm doing the same thing. Now when he breaks inside, boom. Now I'm ready to transfer in there. I know if he goes out, I'm breaking like that. I know if he goes in, I'm going like that. I know that. I gotta have my hands and feet working together. So sometimes when you go to jam, if your feet stop, you lose. So right now, all I'm practicing is what? Boom, come on, my hands, boom, come on back, boom. I got my feet moving, so my hands and feet are working together, okay? All right, here we go. Uh, we have pretty much our whole defense coming back, so we're excited about that. We got a great deep guy in Minka. We have a shutdown corner in Steve. We got a, a great corner in Joe. Everyone knows what Joe can do. Goodness, that's a tutty. <laughs> I'm in the box, I'm over there. Uh, trying to make the calls with the linebackers. I'm filling holes, so from there, I think we, we all play with each other well. Right, we're in good shape. Okay, we're in good shape. The defensive backs aren't the only ones in good shape. Quarterback Ben Roethlisberger is entering his 17th NFL season after fighting back from a season-ending elbow injury in 2019. From surgery to months of intense rehab, number seven is fit and focused for the 2020 season. Actually lighter than I've been since you know probably 13 years, 14 years. I, I feel really good. I feel I feel strong. I feel healthy. I feel young. If you if you can feel young at this age, so I'm just really excited about the season and and, and the, the group of guys that we have here. Excited is an understatement as the early days of camp feature a sight everyone has been waiting for: Roethlisberger throwing at Heinz Field. My arm feels really, really good, and, and that's kind of what I anticipated. We've been working more than usual in the off season. Right now, we're just working on timing with receivers, tight ends, running backs, things like that. So it feels really, really good, and so I, I'm really excited about that. give this team. I still have a lot to give the fans and I still want to win Lombardi's and I say that with a plural on the end. The next step for the Steelers starts on Monday when the pads go on. There is still plenty of things everyone can improve on and as Coach Tomlin has reminded his group, you have to be light on your feet while doing so. We're not going to get at any point in this journey where we're playing football games and you're going to be unfamiliar with how we move or what the procedure is. We're going to educate ourselves in this environment so thoroughly and so thoughtfully and 
such a way that when it's time to play football, we will be singularly focused on what we should be, and that's playing football.